How's it going, guys? Let's uh, jump straight into it. Uh, what I want to do is create a stylized tree. The aim is to make it good, but not too complicated, uh, easy, and as quick as we can. All right, so let's start. Uh, first thing, let's get rid of the cube. Um, we need the camera, but I don't need this light. We'll use a different light. Uh, let's shift A. That will give me uh, the ability to add a mesh, and I'm putting in a plane. S to scale. Make it fairly big, maybe even bigger than that, that's all right. Okay, now the next thing you need is uh, an add-on called um, tree sapling. So if you go into preferences and what you can then do is have a look for a add-on called add curve sapling tree gen. I've already got it ticked, uh, tick that one. And then what you can do is go shift A down to curve and then click on sapling tree gen, and then that will give you your tree. Now, um, if you click down here and open this up, you can start editing it. So this will give you lots of different options. Um, the one I like doing is white birch as a preset. Okay, uh, and then what we can do is jump over to branch splitting, um, and then we can do base splits down to zero, and then we can do the split height, uh, make that all the way up to one, and that will just give us a nice simple tree. Now, what we can do then is jump over to leaves. In leaves, um, we just need to tick this button here, which will just show leaves, and you can see that it's given us um, a bunch of leaves, but not very, not very much. Um, play around with how many leaves you want to use. I think 150 is all right now. They look very small, so what you need to do is jump over to leaf scale and just just slide it up until you find something you like. Uh, 0.5, could go a touch bigger, something like that. And if this goes black, it just there's just a bit of a bug, so you can just tick anything, and it usually gets it back the other way. Oops, there we go. All right, so now we have the mesh of a tree. Um, and that was very simple, very quick. So now what we wanna do is start editing the the um, the shader editor for this. So let's go into shader editor. All right, so let's click on the leaves, click new. Now what we can do here is if you have, um, Node Wrangler installed, you can just press control, click on this and then control T and that'll give you some of the um, nodes we need. Otherwise, uh, just have a look here and you can see what we what we got. This image texture we don't actually need. Um, the generated is what we want to use for the vector in this scenario. And we also need to add in another node. So shift A search for um, separated or separate x, y, z, put the vector down into vector and then put the z into a color ramp. So let's just shift A again, search color ramp. Let's move this over. And let's, what we're gonna probably do here is put the z into factor and then put the color into base color. Now, it's not showing anything because we need to go over here into, into the render and just untick this scene well and that'll, um, won't apply the scene, the scene world lighting. We only need to apply our lighting that we, uh, we give it. So that makes it a bit easier. Now here's where you can sort of muck around yourself and find the best colors you like. Um, click on the black which will be the bottom of the tree, uh, push this all the way up to the white and you get your full color range. And then I like blue, but you know, uh, what you can do is like a nice dark orange. And then up here, make a lighter orange like that. Something like that. Uh, I think if you put this down to ease, it will just give it a a gentler transition um, and so you can see there already if you're starting to get a nice transition 
I'm going to switch this over to blue because that's just what I like. I'm getting some funky colors here now. I did that the wrong one. I want that to be around about there. And I want this one to be a darker blue here. Just about that. And it's just a very subtle transition, but that's what we need. Now, click on the trunk plus to add a new one. We don't have to do anything too fancy here. Um, just go to base color, drag it down to like an orange, red. And if you could drag this, um, the value for the uh, brightness uh, and put it down until you get like a nice brownish color. Around about there, should be good. Uh, maybe a bit lighter. Right there. Right there, okay. That'll do. And now we have our tree. Now, to make this really um, look a bit better, what we can do actually is first jump into the camera, hit zero. Now, if you want to, hit zero will take you to your, your, your first default camera. And then if you click, if you hit shift, um, tilde, and this is Blender 2.9, uh, so what you can do then is put you into like a fly mode, first person view sort of thing, and you can use WASD to move around, and I find that always a bit easier, and I'm just going to frame this, we're using the rule of thirds roughly, might go a bit higher to look down on it, there we go. Now this is a bit too small. What I might do actually is jump back into the camera and come back onto a flat plane surface. Like that, and that would just make sure the plane is not gonna to be too jarring. I'm gonna scale this out so it's a flat line all the way across the camera. Okay, now what I want to do is add a light. So let's go Shift A. Um, let's go Light. And I want to use an area light here. Hit G and Z. And that will take us all the way up. I'm just going to come out of this camera. Now, if you click on here, you can now scale this, make it fairly large, something like that. And then what I'm going to do is hit G again. Uh, this time I'm going to do it on the X, just move it out, uh, maybe do it from this side to cast a shadow, just like that, and then we're going to press R to rotate it into there. So now we've got this sort of just a bit of an angle of the light on there like that. Okay, so now if we press F12, what do we get? We have a tree that is very dull so the light probably needs to jump up a bit so let's click on the light go down to light settings and let's make this about 1500 it's going to make it a much much stronger light it's hit 12 again and there we go that's a bit better we can make, we can obviously make this a lot better but the idea of this is just to get a simple start simple tree and to make something that looks half decent so um i hope you enjoy that um now i'm gonna try and we're going my aim of this channel is to to release videos of blender and all things 3d but just to try and keep things simple and easy just for um trying to get value for value for time i guess um and i'll release these as regularly as i can um so uh please consider subscribing thumbs up would help Thanks. Goodbye.